How's it going? My name's Luke. This is Skinner. Uh, these are our suggestions for the Advanced Excel Certification uh, Preparation page. So a couple things we looked for when we were going through was uh, looking to enhance the user experience and really just simplify uh, the website. It's really long. It's really lengthy. There's so many folders. Um, you kind of get tired head when you start looking through it. Um, so that's our main goal here is to make it easier for everybody to use um, and use a couple of things, whether it's bunching up or combining uh, folders or making the videos work a little better um, to help, to help uh, that cause. So the first thing you come to is the introduction page. Um, this is two pieces. This top part was the only thing I saw. I didn't even get to see the bottom part of the introduction because it's so long, it's so lengthy. So the first thing that we would suggest is just cut all that out. Make it much simpler, much more to the point. I know I talked to Garrett earlier, and Garrett said that he didn't even make it through the introduction. He just skipped over it. Um, and I did too. I think at half the class probably did. There's just so much in there, so much extra garbage in there that it, it, doesn't, um, it doesn't draw you in. It kind of turns you off from the page initially. Um, so simplifying the home page is going to be the, the first thing. Second, when we're looking to enhance the user experience and make it easier to see or easier to use, we need to have everything in order, starting at the most basic of functions in Excel to the hardest. And one thing we found was here, the Excel, the financial functions like NPV, IRR, um, XIRR, they're ahead of the folder that has basic um, Excel functions, basic formatting, conditional formatting, things like that. We would suggest moving the, the ladder, so the Excel tutorials and exercises, above the Excel functions um, for the sake of simplifying and making it easier to transition as you go down the folders. Uh, and then finally, I'm going to talk about uh, the groups, that are the workshops, and grouping those together. There's no need to have two more folders. There's already enough folders, so if we can simplify and bring those two folders into one, just have simple workshops folder, and then you have the informs Excel workshop, and then you have the ascend workshop. That's another suggestion. Now I'm going to pass it to Skinder. He's going to talk a little bit about uh, the videos. Well, when an end user um, sees this kind of error message, it's very frustrating. And this is due to the uh, compatibility issue that uh, we tried this from uh, Mac and also we tried it from Windows. So we knew the problem was not only uh, based up on the platform, but on the on the web on the uh, on the side. So um, so if, if 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 there is another option like YouTube, where majority of uh, majority of uh, platforms are supported, that is. Uh, that is a very easy to use by, by the end users. Um, so what we come up with is that some of it is you can download it, and another one is you can play like easy playback. Uh, so if uh, for students who are here in school, we, we have access right now to go ahead and use both of them. But you can have that uh, download for future reference, and also you can uh, play it while you're in school. But once you out of the school, uh, you can have those downloads, and then you can use them. So overall, we think the site is pretty great, uh, but those small tweaks uh, would make it uh, an awesome site. But we think overall, it's, an, uh, it's a very helpful site.